Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Sunless Skies. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as uh, we get uh, uh, honey. We need honey. We need a lot of honey. Uh, and uh, we're, we're going to get some, hopefully. 75% is very bad though. I We killed a chorister core. Uh, well, a chorister. It's, it's weird. We killed a swarm, basically, of chorister bees, and is now a ruin. Oh, I failed. Do I get the, the honey though? I don't. I lose a crew? My god. That's really bad. Fortunately, I think I think there's going to be more of them. And yes, there's beautiful things all over the place. And and we have a lot of tools at our disposal. It is said, this is Regent, Regent Steers. It is said that the lakes at the top of Regent Steers have curative properties. This rumor goes largely unconfirmed. The ground by the lakes is too boggy to land a locomotive. Instead, you must land on a sharp, slippery ledge lower down the falls. The walk up will be punishing. Should I try to sip from the waterfall? This this feels like a good thing. I can follow the guy to the top of the tiers. 69% chance to, success, to succeed. The route to the top is perilous. You can still benefit from the lakes. The water is brackish and lukewarm. It's not refreshing. But if you concentrate, it could almost be taken for the absent-minded residue of a particularly weak tea. And I just... Did a thing. That's that's what we did over there. This is lovely. Beautiful. Thunderous, I think. And lovely. And hopefully there will be chorister bees above or ahead. Because I suck at everything. And I really need to be the, the well, I need the, the tea. I can buy tea, but it's gonna be a bit less efficient with our current intent of getting as much money as we can so we can buy a new engine. A really expensive new engine, mind you. Uh, we should be fine, though. I don't want to waste too much fuel. Oh, there's a... Oh, my God. I don't know what I did there for. I don't know what I'm doing this for. Okay. How am I gonna try to avoid getting hit? Okay. I can't get it, he's weird. What are you doing, man? It's a partial success. Okay, that's kinda good. Got money. Uncanny specimen. Who's terror? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Oh, is that wind? Mm, I think this is a... Uh... I don't know what it is, but I... it's like a whirlwind thing. Huh. We're good. Hopefully it's fuel. It's not. I hear you. Things. In the distance. Okay, does that sell fuel? That. It does. Where are we going? Oh, we're gonna die. Or, we're not gonna die, but this is... Okay, we've got supplies. That's kinda nice. Wow, fast travel engage! No! Or oh, worse travel engage! <laughs> Shut up! I got a bunch of terror from that. Oh, look at all the things. Is this a trap? Is this a... What? This is a dead end. This is a dead end. How is it a dead end? I'm so screwed. Hi. Yep. I would be dead if I didn't have this strategy here. If 
fast travel my butt. Holy crap, that was awful. It was fun going this way, but holy crap. I'm not fighting those, by the way. There's no way. I would die. I mean, I maybe wouldn't die if I had full hull. But we're far away from that. Okay, so our fuel is going to be an issue. Uh, but we're going to be able to get some stuff here. Wow. Why do I do the, all of the worst things? I mean, the fuel is going to be an issue. We're going to need to go to New Winchester anyway. So let's go this way. Uh, okay, I guess we're not going that way. Come on. Yeah, because that loops back around. Thought it might have been a dead end or something. Somerset Camp. We're back. It's been a while, and our terror should lower. Hopefully. Oh. It didn't lower. So. Our money situation is kind of good. It's kind of good. We can buy bronze wood, but that's fine, because we can access that at any moment. Or we can, uh, you know, learn that from the map. A respite from labor, the distinguished retailers Ravenscourt and Stamford operate a small logging outpost in the Trader's Wood. And I can ask for wood for your, your, your hull. Is this cheaper? The distinguished retailers, okay, hours are long and employment is precarious. Very seldom do the woodcutters and charcoal burners get a day off. Today is one of those rare days. So, I paid 25 for 50 hull. Yes, that is super cheap. That is super cheap. The workers are reluctant to interfere with Raven's Court and Rams uh, and Stamford's quotas. But your entreaties are persistent. You are pointed to a pile of lumber from trees recently felled by storms. A stolid lumberer confesses a superstition of the workers. These are whispering trees, struck down for their mumblings. The workers will not interfere with those. Your crew have no such qualms and set to work on repairing your engines. It's a good thing they are not whispering trees, otherwise my terror would go up. So, um, that's good. And then, yeah, basically it's a simple area that we're in. The wood's edge, we can go there to gather flowers which gains us verdant seeds, which wouldn't be a bad idea. I can also slumber in the wood, which uh, gains us visions of heavens. And this, this is what I'm talking about. This is very important to know uh, because of these things. Now, we didn't try that in Port Avon, which I probably should have because the um, because there's some things there, but there's some things there that give us like visions of heavens. I'm pretty sure we can get from there. But we can't trade visions of, or something for visions of heavens which is um which is more or less what i'm looking for so we have verdant seeds over here so we got a plus uh on verdant seeds that i'm writing down that's why you're not seeing me doing anything uh we also have uh, a caged catch we can get caged catches so well, we have a few of those already That would be to hunt. And we can get Visions of Heavens from here as well. Visions of Heavens. There it is. It's all written down. Uh, so what chance do I have the best of? 70% over there. We got 75. Yeah, we can do Avert and Seeds. I wonder if we can only do it once, though. By a lake gray as the eye of a storm, you find a promising patch of herbs, green and gold and wonderful. Your crew will help you gather those that seem the least familiar, for surely those will fetch the highest price. But deeper in the woods, where the light is almost drowned by the thirsty silverwood trees, you find flowers of every hue of Neverantine. You gather what you can. No, we can continue. Uh, can we? No, 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 you may only perform one of these actions a fortnight. There it is, so it's only a, ch uh, a thing. Uh, which I probably should write down, but I'm not going to. Because that's too much detail for, for this. Uh, so I can wander the camp. It's deserted. Nothing is happening here. Uh, I, th I thought I had something to do over here. Is it the expeditions? I don't have anything. Yeah. 
Uh, and then we have the parting glade. Drop off a settler. Yes, finally. That's really good because we had a, a, a mission to do over here. You're here. They have arrived at their destination. Whether or not they still wish to be here is another and another matter entirely. And I can encourage the passenger to disembark. Uh, you brought her where she wanted to go, despite her criminal past. Well, so 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 called criminal past. She tips her hat as she disembarks and deposits a heavy purse into your hands. She whistles a jaunty tune as she makes her way through the station. And settler is no longer. I got a little bit of money. A shadow falls on the path. Two figures. One fallen. It does? The parting glade is a really cool... <laughs> it's where we part with our... Uh, with, with our passengers that we get in Port uh, Prosper. It's kind of cool. Uh, anyway, we definitely need to go from here to a place that sells... Uh, that sells fuel. Now, ideally I want to go there. But the problem with going there is that I don't know if I have enough fuel for that. But we're going to give it a try. Because where where would be my sense of adventure if I didn't? Also, my sense of drifting. My god, I feel so fast. Oh, dang it. Skyfarers, exposed to the haunting light of the stars, are prone to sudden obsessions and erratic behaviors. A junior signaler is discovered in the hold amidst a pile of dissected books. She's cutting out words and grouping them in clusters to represent a new system of linguistic categorization. Narrative is, uh, is preposterous and occlusive, she informs you. Meaning is the only sensible foundation for classification. You examine her arrangements. The words light and law sit side by side. Nearby conjunction and philosophy and faction huddle together. Um, I'm going to keep their hands and their head busy. Because my hearts are really good, 88% chance. You're, you issue them a grueling list of new duties. They have no time now for starry obsessions or wild notions. Engine grease and elbow grease, as you've heard old Skyfarers say. Uh, yeah, that's the better way, the best way to keep people from uh, thinking too much. Keep them occupied all day. Oh, uh, okay, so... Trying to cut, let's close a line. Over here, we got things up ahead. Also, we have enemies up ahead. I'm good with the enemies, but I'm not going to mess with you. Fuel! Oh, I am going to mess with you. Oh, <gasps> dang it. No! Why is the borrowers... Why is the borrower around here? I gave you things. Oh, no. Ochre fog rise... Sorry, ochre fogs rise about your locomotive. The air acquires a caustic copper tang. Your driver complains they can't see a damn thing. The borrower's breath, they murmur. The fog persists all day. That evening, a, a gnarled crewman visits your cabin. The borrower bellow is displeased, he informs you. He expects a sacrifice. If you wish it, he will arrange it. I don't want to. I need. Th I will sacrifice three people? Oh, because I'm risking things. Wait a minute. Fortune is a skill? No, it isn't. That's just a... I think that's just... That's not a... That's not a skill. Also, the, th the three over there is a representative of the chance. I think. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it is. It probably isn't. Uh, three would be... If you need to roll a three or, or lower, uh, it would be indeed a 50% chance to... To succeed, but if it is a three or higher, then it isn't. It is a sixty-six. Well, I don't know. It's kind of complicated. It doesn't matter, because um, then this would be a four if it's a five percent. I think we saw already that the dice don't actually mean anything. Uh, I think this is just a normal roll, without modifiers. You have your possession. You have in your possession a chart that might allow you to navigate this stretch of sky before. Uh, despite the strangling fog. Oh, we succeed, succeeded. That's just luck, I think. Okay. Your navigator hunches over the illicit chart, fitting curt instructions to your driver. 
Their course is true, the chart is reliable. Eventually your engine crawls from the fog, which has already begun to discolor your hull, turning its rivets the color of a smoker's mustache. You roll the, the life-saving chart carefully and return it to your cabin. You may need it again one day. I may. And uh, you're gonna you're gonna stay there for a little while, mate. Uh, I don't I don't really need to, to deal with you. I want hey, I'm gonna explore instead of kill you. What the heck happened? Did he blow up? No, that was that was a rocket. They don't. Are we faster? I feel like we're faster. Oh look at that! I was slower again. Maybe. I don't know. Either way, we, we're going to do good things. We're going to arrive in time. Or rather, with fuel. Wow, this place is tremendous. The, the sound over here. Oh, we have a thing over here. And I can scoop that for supplies. Yes, we eat the skyworms. Don't judge me. Eat all the skyworms. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is why the burrower is upset all the time. Thanks to its coat of vines, this overgrow ooh, this overgrown signal box of the Eisenbard line retains its structural integrity, if not its dignity. Oh, we have a thing up there. And uh, search the abandoned homestead. We found some of these. And I find more supplies. Lovely. I need those. That's money for me. Now, Eleanor Green, we've been here already. And I can gain a vision of heavens or sky stories if I read the ledger. Sure. I've gained a vision of heavens. Probably should read that story because... Because these are probably different every time. The handwriting is poor but legible. Captain Belade deposited supplies in the cache, paying off their debts. There is a column for, quote, miscellaneous notes. The captain writes a vast of a vast object that drew a burning arc across their path. It seared a line into their vision and the navigator's heart. She insisted on trying to follow it for days. So that sounds like... Um, read and raid. I'm sure it's purposely very close to each other, the, uh, the words. Um, chug chug. Okay. So, man, we're just getting so much hardwood. Seriously, how much hardwood are we getting? Six? How's my hold holding up? It's a good thing I, I bought the tools. My god, 21 out of 23. Jesus. <laughs> We're in a good position, all things considered, but my god. Oh, we got winds up ahead. Or what looks like winds, anyway. And... Yeah, good. Got lovely flowers all over. And uh, we're going to have to buy one, at least one, honey. Probably should buy more. Depends on the price. Hopefully it's a bargain. Because um, they sell honey over here. You'd guess why. Albert's Idyll. Or a dial or something. I don't think that's a word. I think that's the name of the thing. Okay, we have wings converging and they're all... Pushing from where I want to go, which, which sucks. Oh, more tea. Or, not tea, but crockery. Oh, this sucks. I, I, my, uh, my hull, my hull is too full. There we go. Okay, one thing I want to see. Titania sells fuel and supplies. Fuel and supplies. Okay, so we're sort of good. We can, we can, we can go there. We can go there without... Uh, refueling, I guess. So, this is lead beater and, um, and stain rod. So, I'm going to write that down. Lead beater. My god, that's a word. Uh, and stain rod. I could go NL LNS, but I'm not writing the rest of the things. Uh, so, I can join a hunting party... For 28%. Explore the nature reserve on your own and lose terror. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, a along with a few of your brave crew members, you set out into the depths of the nature reserve for a bracing walk and a quiet picnic. The fauna around here is shy when not being hunted. 
It doesn't even try to steal your scones. I got that before. That's lovely. Okay, so we can go into the thing and I can export. Oh, I think we also have a quest to do over here. Export sapling knots. Someone has ordered them from uh, Leadbeater and Stainrod. There is an open call for cap for captains willing to deliver. You unlock this by not having any delivering sapling knots. Experiment unlocked by when you have experiment sanctioned by the company. I hope I, they don't... They're going to load me up with things, aren't they? The clerk smiles as you sign your name. This one's going to Port Prosper. Okay, we need to go to Pros uh, Port Prosper. That's far away, but we're going. And uh, converse with my fellow captains. Sure. Are any of them exporting company goods? What do they think of the demand for them? I think we heard this one before. Bloody silly, aren't they? The sapling knots. Okay. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, so we have a uh, base of research. So I think this is where I can turn my research in. Absolutely. And I can inquire. Current course of study. Huh. Ask about the romantic or ornithologist's bird. This scientist must have seen something of it, surely. A bird that can grind a mountain down to dust? The scientists waste no time on manners. Surely its beak would wear down faster. Oh, I read that. Unless it is some kind of magic beak. Made of yeah, I read that one before. So, can turn in my, my thing. Let's go with it. I didn't get at all the things, but... I do have two things. Hand in the stomach of a canton carry. Uh, or the fungal crinoline from the mushroom met meteor meteoroid. That's what it is, a mushroom meteoroid. Mm, let's go with the foul thing you've carried in the hole. <laughs> in the hole. Yeah. You are thanked by your efforts and asked to wait while the company sorts out your rewards. The phlegmatic researcher uh, summons you to his home to offer your payment and the fruits of his research. He has temporarily abandoned his laboratory, which is filled with incense smoke. A distressing business, he says. The stench of their innards is encrusted in my nostrils. And uh, 250 sovereigns are encrusted in my purse, so thank you very much. Uh, and I can hand in this as well. Uh, so he says, I react like this whenever I am near it, because his eyes are red and his face slightly swollen. swollen. He sniffs loudly and hands you the reward. And again, a little bit of money and a little bit of experience. And I can hand in anything else, but I think this concludes the quest. No, it just gives me more things to... No, 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 he's now researching things. Okay. Yeah, so we got we got this. We just need to come back later. I mean, eventually we'll do that. It's There's no hur big hurry at the moment. At least as far as I can tell. For all I know, at the end of each of these quest lines, there's like this amazing thing that you get. Uh, and we have Albert's Edel over here. Into the reserve. The park is filled with birds and flowers. Is this the ornithologist? It is. Um, take a quick trip into the, the reserve. Uh, sure. I think this only happens every once in a while. I've gained sky stories. Okay. Leadbeater gives me sky stories. Because I don't think I... Um, I did anything special here. And these are good to have. Okay, I can't do that again. Okay. I can visit the ornithologist, but I don't think anything's going to happen. And, uh, yeah, it's basically continuation of what we did before. And we asked all of this already when we first visited here. So in the bazaar, we can sell one of these because we need more. So this is good, actually. Did we have this? Yes, we did. And uh, we can buy some supplies, which we do not need. So we need four of those, but we can't buy any of them here, which is a shame. Uh, wait, they sell fuel? Of course they sell fuel. And I can have the fuel, which is the best part of it. I can carry the fuel is what I mean. Uh, so that's pretty good. We might start sending the guinea pig out. So so we're going to be a little, we're gonna be fine. So there's a terror over there. I kind of want to see what's around the corner here. Hmm. Let's go. This, the wind sounds like it's 
screaming people. Obviously not. By mistake. Being this fast is really good. Okay, important to see that there's no... Okay, is that a friend? It's a dreadnought. Enduring... Oh, more wood. And evidently we are now full. Oh! I don't know what I did there. Why did I crash so fast? I did cr click on... Okay, we're dropping things. Oh, I failed, so we're not dropping things. We're losing crew is what we're doing. Did I lose money? Hmm. Okay, let's keep going here. I want to round this. Oh, there's another one. So this is where the bees are. But then again, oh my god, more wood. And more bees. Oh my god, so much wood and bees. Sack of verdant seeds. So we need to go to Titania to get this. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's hope that we... Oh, partial success. Okay, we didn't lose anybody. We just gained money. Okay, that works. They make the worst noise. Okay, I took damage because I'm an idiot. Partial success again. And I don't want to do that. Even though I should. But I can do it on the way back. Okay, this is where we get... Okay, get me the fuel, please. Okay, how much do we have right now? We have three. How much do we need? We need three. Yeah, we're out. We need to go to Magdalene's. And then we'll... We'll come back. Where's my buttons? Yeah, I'm not killing you again. I'm sorry. Whoa. Yeah, my hull is not... Ideal. I mean, I'd love to actually do that. That's That was a good call. Oi! Stop it! We found something. Yeah, we're not getting it. Okay. We pulled through. <sighs> and our hull is truly full to the brim. But I think we're, we're, uh, we're better off for it. We're absolutely better off for it. So let's just go back into Leadbeater and Stain Rods. My uh, terror is not really. Not better off. But if I'm lucky, this will give me the terror reduction that it sometimes gives. I'm never, I'm never lucky though. I don't think it is. Here we are again. Wait, can do that again? No, 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 no. It's not. It's not that kind of. Okay. Well, we're in a good place to end the episode then. So we have a, f a little bit of a journey ahead of us. Uh, kind of a little bit. We have a lot of things that we haven't explored yet. Well, we have some things that we haven't explored back here. So I want to do that as well. And I will do that once I uh, get out of Magdalene's. Or maybe I just go to New Winchester to dump off all the things that I have. Because I have a lot of them. Uh, I might not be rich in money, even though I am. Look at the amount of money I have. But I am definitely rich in all the other things. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Sunless Skies. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.